Amidst the vast wilderness of North America, a magnificent creature roams, the American bison. Today, we attempt to clarify a common misconception that the American bison and buffalo are the same animal. We'll explore this mix-up while clarifying that the American bison has never been a true buffalo. The term buffalo has a rather intriguing history in the English language. Back in Shakespeare's time, military individuals often sported a protective coat known as a buff coat. These coats, crafted from undyed leather, were surprisingly thick and soft. When the English set foot in the New World, any animal yielding similar leather got the tag buff. As time marched on, other North American critters got their own unique names, leaving the largest of the bunch, the American buffalo, with the exclusive claim to the title. Now here's the catch with the term buffalo. It's been used before. It was applied to the water buffalo in Asia and the cape buffalo in Africa. Taxonomists, the folks in charge of classifying and naming organisms, saw this as a problem, especially considering that the American buffalo isn't closely related to these animals at all. To solve this naming dilemma, they proposed the term bison, already in use in the Latin name of a related European animal, the wisent, or bison boanus. Despite these efforts to bring clarity, we now find ourselves in a situation where this magnificent creature has two usable names. It's kind of like how a mountain lion, a puma, and a cougar are all considered the same animal. So it's no surprise that many discussions about our four-legged friends often kick off with the question, what sets a buffalo apart from bison? To clarify this confusion, let's begin with geography. The American bison, as suggested by its name, resides in North America, primarily the United States and Canada. While Europe also has its own distinct species of bison, they are all but extinct. Similarly, the American bison faced near extinction during the late 19th century's Great Slaughter. Fortunately, a few small herds managed to evade this fate by seeking refuge deep within the interior of Yellowstone Park. On the other hand, buffalo species are found continents away, spanning across Africa and Asia. This geographical separation lays the groundwork for these potential misunderstandings. Let's zoom in on their physical characteristics. American bison sport short, curved horns, where buffalo often exhibit long, sweeping horns that gracefully arch backwards. Bison have a thick coat of fur, including a thick beard, to help them deal with the severe cold throughout the winter. Buffalo, on the other hand, inhabit a much warmer climate, so have a much thinner, finer coat of fur. Adding another level of similarity is the social behavior exhibited by these creatures. American bison often form smaller family groups or herds, maintaining a moderate level of social organization. In contrast, buffalo, especially the Cape buffalo, are recognized for congregating in larger herds, particularly during the rainy season, sometimes numbering in the thousands. It's conceivable that this distinction is a more recent adaptation, influenced by the significant reduction in the overall population of American bison. Currently, the majority of them belong to small private herds, with the only remaining mostly wild population within Yellowstone Park. Historically, during the time of Manifest Destiny and the Great Westward Expansion, there are accounts of horses perishing due to starvation when they were trapped behind massive bison herds that had stripped the land clear of vegetation. Thus, in the past, bison herds certainly rivaled, if not surpassed, buffalo herds in size. And it's essential to recognize that the American bison is a distinct species with its own unique place within North America. By shedding light on the factors behind the confusion, 
we can cultivate a deeper appreciation for these remarkable creatures and preserve their unique role in our natural world. The wonder is out there. We just have to be looking for it. <laughs>